Welcome back guys, and today I've got a review of the Dexter Silicon Fish Spatula. If you didn't see my last review, I reviewed a nylon spatula, which does not go well stainless steel. So this one's silicone, higher heat rating. So let's see how it does. All right guys, so here it is. It's the Dexter Fish Spatula. Cool blue color, right up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It is a aluminum core with the silicone outer. Um, it should be much more heat resistant than the nylon ones, which we all know and hate. Well, for those that cook on high heat, we, we don't like them. Uh, for anyone that cooks non-stick, it's not much of an issue. If you want to read the back bit, there, there it is. It is six and a half inches. We're going to be cooking with it on my stainless steel, my all clad D5. If you haven't seen that review, I'll link it down there. Um, so with this said, let's get it in a box and uh, we'll check it out. All right, so here it is. Let's go and get it in a box and uh, check it out. There we go. You got it. So in the hands, first impression, it feels small. Ergonomics are going to be fine. Basically the opposite of the nylon one I had. Uh, bendability test. Here's your bendability. I think it's going to be fine. I know people are more knowledgeable on that than me. I've, I've never had any issues with any spatulas. As far as, far as bendability wise, but angle wise, yeah, that's a very crucial thing. You want to be able to slip underneath it. Honestly, this feels like something you would have in a professional kitchen. It looks extremely attractive also. One thing I, I did see though when I got it, I'm gonna try to focus on this. There we go. Well, kind of. Uh, you're not gonna be scraping much with this. It, well, I mean, it's silicone, so soft. Two, it is not like a metal fish spatula where you're gonna be able to really you know, scrape underneath there. But as thin as this edge is, I think you're gonna be perfectly fine. Um, just yeah, individual spokes. Like I said, it's definitely got a bit of inability. When we do it like that, we can really get some. But yeah, let's go and uh, get the pork cooked and uh, see how it does. All right, so I'm gonna see if it holds up to 500 degrees. Um, just, in, just in case the small bit is off a little bit, I'm gonna go down to 480. When it reaches 40 in the middle, I'm gonna hit it with the spatula and see what happens. So I'm gonna overheat it, then I'm gonna let it cool down because aluminum cools down really quick. So I'm gonna go over and go under. So there it is, it's at five, it maxed it out. So I'll be back whenever it hits it, and then uh, see what see what happens. All right, so it's at 489. Let's see what happens. Okay, you guys blow and look at it. Let me focus on this so you guys can see for yourself. Uh, no shininess, no melting, nothing. And that was at 489 degrees. Can't get much closer than that. And okay, so that thermometer, since it's on the very higher end, it may be off a little bit. So that's why I did 49. Um, typically, you don't want to cook your food at 500 degrees. I mean, if you're searing that high, then man, more, more power to you. Use metal though. But as far as I'm concerned, because that thermometer, from what I've used it for, it is pretty accurate. Um, down to about five degrees or so. So the 49. It usually runs a little bit low, but five degrees at most. So I feel like that's going to be a pretty good test for this. And uh, so we'll see how it does on the stainless. Back in a second. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to cook it over a medium high heat. Put my oil in. Get that good and going. I'm going to be frying this, uh, this pork of something. Cannot think of the name. There we go. I'll be back when it's ready to flip. All right, ready for the flip. Let's see how it does. All right, so after that flip, it looks brand new still. I don't see any sort of uh, sort of any uh, like melting or rolled edge or anything like that. So, and I had that on medium high, so I'm frying this really hot. Uh, the nylon at this point was, it left black marks in the pan. Uh, so already this thing is way better and I'm really excited for it. So we'll do a little more torture testing once the food is done. 
Let's see how it does. All right, so it is done. Let's uh, hold there for just a second and see if it melts. All right, I'm gonna clean this off and back in a second. All right, <clears throat> so as you can see, nothing. So that is a pass in my book for the Dexter fish spatula with a, with the a stainless steel core, silicone exterior. I guess uh, we'll be back in a second to wrap this review up. All right, guys, as you can see, that is the seam right there on it, completely unscathed. No smears, smudges, melting, little bumps indicating overheating. Everything is perfectly fine. Through the 500 degree test, through the 300 degree test that I measured the, the skill at after cooking that, everything appears to be fine. It appears to be like it's gonna be my new fish spatula. So with that said, that is gonna be my review of the Dexter fish spatula for the $12.65 that I paid for it. I'm very happy. Feels good in the hand, light, well balanced. I think it's gonna be nice. So, got a question for you? Comment in the comments. Want to review a try? Put in the comments. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. You have a great night.